What, what's wrong with this system of, uh, that we've relied on and has served us very well for a long time of having big centralized power plants and big electrical grids that, uh, uh, that, that get the power out to us so that when we just flip the switch, the light goes on? What's wrong with that? You know, there's nothing wrong with that, just like there would be nothing wrong with us continuing to use typewriters instead of laptop computers or iPads or our smartphones um, in the sense that the technology is there for the taking. We have this opportunity to do the electricity system in a different way that is going to be of remarkable benefit to electricity customers and to our society. Um, you know, I just think about, for example, um, you know, right now, uh, in, in the way that the utility has to manage how our electricity use is, is, is uh, on the grid, we have what are called peak demand times, which means there's that time on a sunny afternoon in July when everybody's air conditioner is running. And uh, that's all the power plants that are on the system are essentially built to serve the energy uh, demand at that moment. And solar is one of the solutions that we have to that because it's a way that on every little ho rooftop that we've got, we can ha um, provide power back into the grid at that time period. Um, you know, ways like Nest thermostats and other things like that can completely automate the way that people can maybe turn off their air conditioner for a, on a 15 minute interval or, or, or cycle their refrigerator or something like that. All these really uh, are amazing opportunities that we have with the technology that's available to democratize control and, and generation of power on the electricity system.